Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm blonde again. Um, I know that I'm looking kind of crazy right now. I have uh, pretty much a full face of makeup on, but no eye makeup. So my eyes look a little blank and a little beady right now. Sorry, we'll fix that here in a little bit. Um, I am actually in my car, obviously, driving out to pick up a special guest for this video. And obviously you saw the thumbnail, and if you've been around since the early days of my channel, then you guys have met her once before. Um, so I am going to pay less attention to the camera and more attention to what I'm doing on the road right now. And I will pick back up when we get there, all right? All right, we are here. Hey, girl. Hey. Oh, look at that. <laughs> look at that outfit. <laughs> I brought makeup, my Polaroid. No. <laughs> Happy Halloween! I brought things, exactly! <laughs> oh, how are you, babe? I love that it's still Christmas at your house. Oh, yeah. Dad. And that you have a Christmas pig. No one's surprised. <laughs> I love that you are this and I'm all black today. I wore all the colors. Even my underwear are, like, colorful, I think. So I have this whole bottle of red hair dye, and it's a Lime Prime Valentine. It's this beautiful red. Yeah. And I want to do it so bad, yeah. but I'm like... If I do that, I, if I want to go brown, I want to do something else, I can do it after that, but I yeah. can't necessarily go light right after that without making myself mad. It is hard, because I can't even imagine when you said you wanted to dye her brown, I'm like, what? Plus, here's the thing, I'm bored of color. Yeah. Because I fucking had color in my hair. For, Forever. Right, for yeah. like 25 fucking years, you yeah. know what I mean? So like, I'm just bored of it. Like, every color bores me to death, except probably neon green, which again, I'm scared to do because it's going to put all that yellow in my hair. So I'm scared to do it, even though that's like the only thing I'm tempted. Like, ooh, go with the neon. But I'm like, yeah. and again, neon yellow, it's gonna totally ruin my hair. Yeah. So I'm like, I keep holding off on that and just wearing wigs or whatever because I just know better. But brown is the only color I've really not enjoyed in any way, shape, or form. Because I had bought a brown wig and I hated it on me. Yeah. And it had like blonde highlights. I don't know if it was the wrong color brown, but I was like, ew, when I threw it off me. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even do anything with it. I literally, it was like a cute little like choppy rocker haircut. Yeah. And I put it on and I was like, ah! And I threw it away. So I was like, okay, what color browns could I maybe do? Because in my head, I kind of know what I want. I can't do anything where I can't just immediately go back to blonde hair. Right. Now everybody can tell me that I look like Dog the Bounty Hunter again. I'm not even kidding. I get that so much when I have fucking blonde hair. That's to your point, you especially because I have like my like '80s glasses and shit. You know oh, what I mean? Oh yeah, that doesn't help. Oh my god. Do you know what I've been watching all the time now, and I'm obsessed with again? What? Not to get off the hair topic, but uh, Billy the Exterminator. The what? You never seen Billy the Exterminator? Okay. Oh, we're gonna have to change your life. He's an exterminator, and he was supposed to be with his whole family, but clearly Billy was the winner. But Billy looks like he likes Motley Crue too much and lives in Louisiana. But at that time, like now he doesn't look as weird, but at that time, he's got like really, oh my God, you just have to see it. Billy's got a brother and Billy's brother, Ricky, absolutely is Dave Mustaine. <laughs> no, wait, 150% is he Dave Mustaine and as the things go on, he lightens his hair, it's like ridiculous. Yeah. So that's what Billy the Exterminator is, like him and his brother. I gotta find it, You're, it's gonna change your life. That's a pretty good one. There's Billy with an alligator. Oh. Oh wait, and this is just one. Billy gets good, when Billy goes hunting, um bees and stuff he puts on leather chaps and a leather trench coat to go do it and he says that it's because it protects him and billy's so likable so that makes it worse okay he's got like a heart of gold yeah but i gotta find him and his brother so you can see uh a... oh yeah that's that's my look hair look at him that's me oh shit <laughs> yeah this is the dave mustaine <laughs> so look billy and dave mustaine it's literally a combo you can't live without in your life it's gonna change your whole life <laughs> we're in scenic downtown cleveland yeah it's a, it's a thing. So you've been stuck in your mom's house all week? Yeah, which is actually okay, because like my nieces are there and stuff like that, and they're older now, okay. so like, you know, it's nice to spend time with them and everything. Yeah. The only thing I got them to do was go to TJ Maxx, because like, I love buying discount makeup, which I know yeah. you've had your thing about, and I, that's a whole other topic. Trust me, because the Parma one has, was all, all the makeup was mangled. But when we went to like North Olmsted and Avon, they didn't do that. It's like there's fucking teeth marks and shit. Yeah. Well, you, you know, know what mean? though? That's like, the so the Parma one that we went to, it had a ton of fucking stuff, but, because again, you know, I can tell if an eye, and an eyeshadow you can clean, but I can tell if it's been fingered or not. Yeah. Um, the lipsticks is where it gets a little bit sketchier and you don't want to put that on your lip if you're not sure. Yeah. But, like I said, when we went to the other ones, it was like, they were fine. Everything wasn't mangled, but they had so many that was mangled that all the NARS, and I think that was brand new, all the NARS, all the everything was discounted to $3 because it was so fucking mangled already. Yeah. And so they had the same stuff full price. Well, $8 full price. 
yeah. but you know what I mean? Like they had the same dollar full price as they had that because people just fucked it up. Like you said, and I literally, that was burning in my head because in LA, it's not like that. Like even when people mangle stuff, it's not like that. It was more like the North Olmsted one or yeah. like the Avon one where I was like, there's a couple things fucked up. But yeah, no, it was literally just like fucking World War Three of destroying makeup. And all I could think in my head was you saying that, like, oh, no wonder he was so mad. Because they're watching you too while you look at it. Yeah. Like they'll let you look at it, obviously see what the color looks like, but they don't let you like, yeah. Hold on. <laughs> I don't want it. <laughs> I should have taken pictures for you. It was like all the eyeshadows, like they had opened up every NARS eyeshadow and just like mangled it and like threw it down. They didn't no, put it fuck. back in the box. They just like threw they it They took it out in the parking lot and like fucking backed yeah. over with their car. Yeah. And threw through the front fucking door. Yeah. Like, now nah, I want this. <laughs> totally. And I was like, oh my God. That's like horrible. I also have realized within the last week that I haven't highlighted the problem. Like, I literally have more highlighter than I could ever use in my life. Well, I ever. Have, I have, like, the exact correct amount, I think. Yeah, I don't. I literally need to start, like, in summer, I'm going to have to highlight my whole body to even remotely get through any of it. Or you can just, like, give shit away. Oh! That's, <laughs> that's how I keep mine at, like, a, like a nice regular amount. I just, like, go through, and I'm like, I'm not using this shit. I'm fucking Wait, giving it away. Wait, I'm not I'm saying I don't do that with other things. I'm telling you with highlighter, and I've given some highlighters away. I have a problem. And I brought my favorite Jeffree Star highlighter. Which one's that? It's the kit. It's like a, like the oh, okay. pack. But it's the one of the ultra glitter ones, not the old ones, the new ones. The yeah. Arctic one or whatever. Oh, it's a, I don't know. It's the only one of his that I ever tried and I ended up just, I actually just recently gave that away. Horrible. Um, I didn't like the formula. It immediately like, it immediately got hard pan on it as soon as I put a brush on it. I couldn't actually physically use it. Cause it just, every time you would touch it with any kind of brush, it just immediately like sealed over. I want him to come out with makeup that I like. Cause I like. That, <laughs> that was the most amazing You know what I mean? Ever. Because I would like, like him to come out with makeup I like. Because like, I like him and I like his aesthetic and I like that he does like weird shit and stuff, but I feel like so much of the shit he does is just like unwearable. For me? <laughs> He's too busy making makeup for me to make makeup for you. <laughs> Like, so, because I have I have the Beauty Killer palette, I have Androgyny, and I have and Blood Sugar. And I don't like sugar. those. And I don't like those. I like Blood Sugar, but I'm allergic to reds. Okay. And his is so pigmented, I can hardly wear it. And I those are it. the ones that I like. And I think, for me, like, Blood Sugar is great, but I think that Blood Sugar could have been condensed and it didn't need to be 18 shadows. Because, like, you can create exactly two looks with the Blood Sugar palette. Yeah, it's all like, red. Like, it's all fucking red. And even the ones that you have, like, the ones that are, like, medium tone and darker tone, they, they all the blend same. out to the exact same fucking color. No, I know. When I first got that palette, and like I said, I'm kind of allergic to red so it was even more fucked up i would try all these colors and try all these dark red things and my eyes would get like fucking swollen and yeah. gross but i kept trying it and every time i did it it looked exactly the same yeah i would actually joke i'd be like see my eyes today it looks just like yesterday's but it's totally different yeah i brought the blue one because i know you don't like blues so i brought that palette because it's one of my favorites but i love blue yeah I, so, i'm like who the fuck these 18 blue eyeshadows <laughs> <laughs> oh, his lip glosses too. I was like super fucking excited because you know I love lip gloss. And he came out with lip glosses and they were all like fucking ugly. So did you try them though? No, no, no. But I, I did bring one for you. But I that. saw enough swatches of those online that I'm like, they're they were all like weird fucking colors or they just like looked milky and weird on the lips. Well, I did bring one, I think I brought clear though. Whoa! It's new. The fuck? He like almost got ran over. Look, he's still running. He probably. Look at he's still running. What is he doing? I what gotta do, do my heroin. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but fuck. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So wig of paradise. Fucking a. We need to go to wig paradise. There's so many wig stores around here. Ah! <laughs> Mama's getting a wig. <laughs> I just want to go to wig paradise. Name alone. <laughs> Sold. <laughs> so, and I saw a couple colored ones already on the front. And I was like, Maybe we can find me a brown wig today. Um, maybe I can get that out of my system with a wig, just like everything else. So, and it'll just stay pink forever. But then I'm worried I'm gonna become one of those weird pink ladies, and I don't know that I really want to do that. Maybe. Like, I'm, I mean, if you're not, like, your whole house, like, your toilet paper and everything else isn't pink, I'm not sure I want to go that way. Yeah. I don't want to be one of those people that just, like, try to be halfway pink. Like, yeah, that's kind of all annoying. or nothing. Yeah, yeah, no, I want to literally be like, oh, everything I own. And, like, <laughs> wobbling, like, 90. <laughs> everything I have is pink. <laughs> I change it to 30 different pink outfits. Yeah. If it's not that, I don't want to do it. And then the pink lady always goes to Hello Kitty, too, and I don't want to do that either. So. That's true. Yeah, that's, that's where. You could do pigs. 
<laughs> a pig lady. I did always want to be Miss Piggy. <laughs> Call I mean, me! <laughs> no, Mariah Carey's Miss Piggy, not me. I'm, I literally, she took it. I can't do it now. Did you see, um, did you see Madonna's butt implants? Oh. How did you not see that? She got butt implants? Good for her. If it, w if it wasn't butt implants, then it was like some sort of like implanted into her pants. And either way, it looked like malignant? a fucking shelf. Was it malignant? It was like... I'm what? Look, look, look! All of them. God it wasn't shaped blessing. like a butt. Well, a lot of implants actually are weird. People don't think they are, but I can actually tell when girls have had butt implants because then they always start modeling their butt all the time. But you could, I can tell. I can tell that it's a butt implant. It's yeah. not a real butt. I mean, no matter how good the implant is, I can usually tell. I mean, like if it's like Nicki Minaj's butt or something, hers might be an implant. I mean, it probably is because it's huge. But the thing is, like, it works a little bit better, but. Like Madonna, all of a sudden having a giant rear, you can tell it's an implant. Yeah. And like again, it's not to be mean. It's just you can see their body like where it doesn't fit right. Yeah. So. Which again, God bless them. God bless them. God bless them. If you get past a certain age and you have enough money to redo all of it to your fucking toes, God bless you. Like you know what I mean? If it still makes you happy, even if I think you look fucking terrifying, if you look in the mirror and you feel better, kudos to you. Because I mean, like that's the trick too, right? Like, I was trying to explain this to people. Anyone that sees themselves more, like, you make videos or you get your photo taken yeah, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. You have to look at your stupid fucking face. All the damn time. Yes. Like, even no matter how confident you are or how great you look. I mean, that's why, like, you know, amazingly beautiful women are insecure. Like, yeah. you just... You, you see, see different angles of yourself and you're like, fuck! And, 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 but that's the thing. No one <laughs> else might feel that way. That's the really interesting part. Like, we all look at them like, what are you kidding? You couldn't look yeah. bad. But they're like... Oh my god, this is disgusting. It's like the first time that you ever hear like your voice back. Oh, like, that's replayed, and you're like, wait. <gasps> yeah, that's the worst. It's like the worst. And you're now, definitely more lady than mine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and now I just don't even care. Mm. That's the thing, you get used to it, but you still get like and again, like I think that the more people do it, and obviously like some people are more secure or have like head issues, you get more, you know, they can deform themselves because they don't see themselves clearly. Yeah. But at the same time, like, even if you looked and again, I mean Fuck, I live in LA. There's so many women and they get so much work done on their face, they turn into men that are trying to look like women. Oh, I'm not even turning. You're not turning into a lady? I'm just kidding. That was no. like the timing you said that. <laughs> I'm not even turning. No, um, but I mean, it was like, they just, it, you know what I mean? It doesn't actually look almost aesthetically pleasing to me anymore. But yeah, if they're yeah, happy, yeah. But if they're happy, then like... Because everybody does kind of end up with the same face. I've, just for years, said there's the ultimate third unisex ginger, and it is plastic face. It is. Because yeah. the men and the women all look the same. They do. Yes. Yeah, they doesn't do. doesn't matter if there's a wig on it or not. It's fucking, it's one face. It's the plastic face. You might be going that way. You heard it here, folks. <laughs> <laughs> you might be going for the third face. <laughs> I have no idea what we're doing today. Today's uh, a free for all. Yeah, it really is. Um, I'm definitely gonna play in Jeremy's makeup though because she can just I, can I open this up? Yeah, yeah. She just today discovered do the um, the Jade no Glow multi chrome shadows that we have here that she's never played with before. So. I really wanted to get in some um, of these and I've been scared. So this is a safe way to try. And for some reason, this whole set of his stuff, I'm very intrigued by. I like this Yeah, we've set. got a lot of indie stuff here. We've got mostly Give Me Glow. We've got some JD Glow here. We've got some JD Glow here and here. Some Z palette makeup here in a Z palette, my custom Z palette I had made. Um, and then down here, I think this is Vanessa's vanity stuff. Yes. Mm -hmm. And those are pretty good too. So. She's got a lot of makeup here too. She's yeah. got a lot of- I brought of, some uh, special things. Some Jeffree Star. I love that I'll, palette. I'll, I'll never use that, but. We, maybe today, we don't know yet. But I did, I brought it to show, because again, I it's probably one of my favorite palettes, but there is still some Jeremy coloring in there. I love these. The Northern Lights yeah. palette from Jeffree Star. I want to look like a disco ball, so it's extra shimmer. And then I got this one, again, discounted. I love discount makeup. Sure, it's going to expire soon, but whatever. We've been collecting makeup for a while. We're going to expire soon. Yeah. <laughs> so then there's that one, and that's got all kinds of shimmery. I like things. those. That one's definitely more my style, I think, than anything. Yeah, well, like, it's the thing. I really like these because, again, if you, you know, they've got some color shift in them. Yeah. So I think that and that's And I like these two boring colors here, but I like that orange one, too. Yeah. Because we've been through the birth and the death of many makeup brands. Yeah. Uh, yep. Mac was and really a stronghold for us for a long time, though. And it's still a stronghold for me. I still mm -hmm. buy so much fucking Mac. I find I myself, have a lot of Mac. I find that I still buy Mac, but I buy 
basics. So I buy like more like the foundation. All your stuff, yeah. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. or like the skin carry kind of stuff actually. Not as much as I used to, maybe. But again, still, I stick in it for that. I don't stick in it for, like, eyeshadows, really. Or I do. I recently started buying MAC Singles again, and they've got some really good ones. I'm going to start, I'm gonna start over-packing my eyes because it looks crazy, and I want you all to see it. I'm going to cake on my under eye. Yeah. We're going to cake want, it on. Or do you want to try the yours? Did you want to try... Why don't we try did, that, and then I'll cake the powder over it? Let's yeah. do a combo. Do you use a brush? Do you use your finger? What do you I use, use a brush for that. I use... Um, that's my Studio Finish Concealer that mm-hmm. I've totally hit pan on. Um, I use a brush like this. Um, I was looking at these, so I haven't tried this. I used to use MAC Concealer, but honestly, I haven't liked MAC as much, again, for some things recently I as I used to. depends on what kind of... But I haven't tried this one yet. So this is all new. And again, I have a problem. I have these terrifying under eye bags that I don't really want to highlight and show you how bad they feel like they are. Who's that? Oh, you use this kind for it? Really? Mm-hmm. Oh, this is all new. Those are the dogs. Yeah, those are the dogs. Dogs. This one. Um, one. Don't share makeup with each other the way that we do. I, I'm not scared of her AIDS. We've been sharing germs for years. She's not scared of my AIDS. Yeah, we've been this sharing. This is totally unhygienic. We've been sharing dirty germs for forever. It's like family. Um, this is my Franken powder that I made. It's pinky. Yeah. So do you like it because it like gives you like an it's, illuminescence? It's because it's like perfect skin tone for me. Oh, is that what um, you're talking about? Is that that pink powder? Yeah, this is the Ben Nye Pretty Pink, and then I've got one of those Maybelline Fit Me. Um, one of the lighter powders, so it kind of cuts the pink a little bit um, and kind of lightens it up for, like, my under eye and stuff. But I like to put a lot of powder on, especially before, um, what do you call it, eyeshadow and shit, because I get really fucking messy and I don't have to worry about it later. See, we have opposite problems, so this is why this is good for you. So if you don't have a perfectly fixed face. Yeah, well, because I used to have that exact problem that you're having right now. That's what I mean. See, but he's fixed it, so now I'm just showing you. The misery of still having it. Oh, this is not bad. I like this brush for it, actually. So she is... You know where I got that brush? Yeah. The very first time that we went to the Morphe store together. Oh, is it one of those? Yeah, that brush set that I bought that very first time. That, like, vegan brush set. Yeah. I still have so many of those brushes from that set. See, now, I'm putting on entirely too much concealer, but that's because... You're a drag queen. And I'm scared of my under eyes, so... (laughs) It's a little bit of both. Basically, what we're doing... Oh, it was Star. all blue blood. Jeffree Star. <laughs> Jeffree Star. Do you I were get, in the casket. Yeah. You were just fully in Do the I casket. Do I get free makeup for this then? <laughs> See, I'm going to just like cover my face in it. Because mm-hmm. it's an actual cake that she's baking. I am. I am actually baking a cake. It's a wedding cake. When they said bake, I meant... <laughs> it's like three tears. Yeah. I meant it literally. <laughs> we're baking an actual cake on my face. I'm going to eat her face uh-huh. if I'm done. But basically, all we're doing is making the light reflect off of it. So well, it's really a trick because it's not fixing my face. It's hiding my face. Well, in reality, I think that any amount of makeup, even light, like light, light, light coverage makeup, like outside in regular light, looks like too much. Do you have... I have everything. What do you need? Do you, what For a contour, what kind of brown do you have? Oh, oh, I oh. Use, I use eyeshadow sometimes because, well, it's there. I have... This palette from Adept Cosmetics, which you guys have seen that I really like so much. And here, let's so see, the thing let's out. make some room. Get out of here, Jeffree Star. Ah! <laughs> Get your coffin out of the way. I love my coffin. And that's Bone Beige by MAC. Yeah. That's taupe. This one, I fucking that's love really this dark. one. This one is a single shadow from Give Me Glow Cosmetics. It's called Mushroom. It's a matte pigment. And it's... It's a you don't eyeshadow. Think it's, you don't think it's too dark? I use this for contouring, like, underneath my beard and making a little bit of shadow there where my turkey waddle is. I like to go a little darker when I'm contouring because I blend it in. That's actually what's really nice about these brushes. i got to be honest. I know. I almost bought those br- that brush set a couple times. I really like it. I mean, again, what is she, Jaclyn Hill? Isn't that hers? Or is I don't somebody think else's? I think that was somebody else's. Does it say on there? Let's see. Times Brittany. Yeah, somebody, somebody I've somebody? never heard of. Oh, there she is. She looks like everybody else. See, they all look the they same. They all look exactly all the same. All they look like weird Kardashians. Everybody. I mean, I'm not fine. saying that the Kardashians don't have their own nice makeup look. But I also feel like whenever most of the brands are reposting pictures of 
whoever it is that's got like a makeup look on, you know what I mean? I feel like I always think, oh, it's Kim Kardashian again. Oh, it's Kim Kardashian again. And it's not. It's just that <laughs> everybody fucking looks like that. And really that's do. like the look. So that's what gets posted. I think that the brands that repost me repost me because I do have a different look. You know what I mean? Well, that's the so thing because I mean, I you cool. know, there's, there's that whole, I mean, I don't know if you know, cause it's not your thing, but there's that whole bearded drag queen thing that's come through, but you still don't even have and that I'm, look. Yeah, that's not my no, thing No, but either. that's what I'm saying. So like, even though that's had its own like special, like, you know, look, which was different than it ever was before. Yeah. You don't even look like that. No. So, I mean, you kind of, nobody looks like you. But I like the bearded drag queens that look like a Kim Kardashian with a beard. I don't know why I'm into that. So, I really just contour my nose a little. And I contour my cheeks and that's it. I know you're supposed to maybe do your forehead and stuff. I've never done that. But I always see everybody else always shades in this part or shades in like here. But I don't feel like I don't have to shape those. You know no. what I mean? Like, well, you've got a very shapely face anyway. That's you've got, I, like, great cheeks. And... Yeah, but that's the thing. Like, so down here, I don't feel like I, you can kind of cut it in if I wanted to, but I don't mind the shape of my face. And then, like I said, I'm not trying to bring my forehead down. So I'm just a nose and a cheek person. Well, I also think that with all of the the Instagram trends and, like, all the makeup that happens online, yeah. everybody kind of does the same thing because they're trying to imitate or emulate what somebody else is doing when Instead of like, trying to if your face doesn't your face. need that then it doesn't fucking need that well yeah you know but that's I mean? the thing you watch all these other things you start to worry like oh, am, I yes. am i supposed to be doing this are you technically a green eyed or yes. is it just it's a green. blue green it's green i always wanted brown eyes why always. would you want brown eyes? I even wore brown contacts for a few years. Did you really? Younger. Oh, yeah. Why would you want brown eyes? Because I just think that brown eyes are the prettiest. Do you really? Yeah, absolutely. Like, See, I'm the opposite. I'm the other way. Like, I would, like, kill someone to have light like, eyes. Like, I could never be attracted to somebody that had, like, blue eyes are or green kidding? eyes or gray eyes. No, it has to be brown. That's weird. Yeah. I mean, it's cute. Thank you. Because, uh, again, I think everyone with brown eyes is like... <laughs> yeah, no. I just think... I don't know. I feel like people with brown eyes look nicer. I feel like people with, like, blue eyes and green eyes, like, they look mean. That's what I'm saying. They look warmer? Yeah, maybe. But he goes for warm colors, so that makes sense. Like, you always gravitate towards golds and browns and That's warm true. things. Yeah. I like cold colors, yeah, generally. Yeah, that makes so sense. I love light eyes. But again, I don't know if you can put that kind of makeup on light eyes, because yeah. it gets weird, maybe. But I like dark hair and really light eyes. I think that's, like, the best combination. But like, that's what you're attracted to, yeah. you know what I mean? I like, like any hair color, but it has to be brown eyes. Okay, am I gonna am I gonna use this coffin today? Is that what's yeah, gonna happen? I don't know. All right, I think we're I'm... using uh, uh, mini coffins. I have to put all my makeup in a coffin. I don't know what that means. I die with my makeup. They're gonna bury it with me. We use this one. This is the anti aging one, I think. Ooh, there's a See? brown and a brown and a brown and a pink. <laughs> it would be funny if I used the blue blood palette and I only use colors that weren't blue. By the way, no one's surprised if you did that. I'd be like, God damn it, we tried so hard. I'm gonna use this weird. Look at that. See, I love. This weird pinky blush. You have to like smear it in, but for some reason, I'm really into it. Well, it's not subtle. Or you can make it subtle though. You're not gonna be subtle though. Apparently, what we learned is I am really drawn to makeup that's like five year old girls because I wanna apparently look like a strawberry shortcake, smell like a strawberry shortcake. <laughs> this looks like a five year old would buy it. And I wanna look like a classy middle aged lady with brown eyes. With brown eyes. <laughs> Okay, so here's my problem with this palette. I have lots of problems with this palette. He has problems with everything. My problem with this palette is I feel like there's so much blue. Obviously, it's a blue eyeshadow palette. But I feel like as far as transition shades go, there should be something that's more like a this or a this. Like... Like a, like a cooler tone transition, you know what I mean? Like, don't you think that that would make a little bit more sense with some of these, or? No. Okay, but see, here's the difference. Okay, when I look at this, I'm gonna go for a full blue look. Like, that's just what I'm gonna use it for. Why else would I be using it? I like that there's neutrals in there because I use the neutrals alone, but I've never put a neutral with a blue. I just, I've never done that. I've never been like, let me put my brown with my blue. But I feel like if you're going to do the that, and if you're one, gonna maybe. have those transition shades, I feel like there should be something that's more, not like a gray like this, but something that's like a gray neutral. You know what I mean? Something that's more cool tone. Well, I think that again, that's not the, the look for it because I feel like the gray makes it into more of a smoky eye. That's when you're going for a blue smoky eye. But I mean, look at all this shit. This palette screams blue smoky eye. Right, but, but that's what I'm saying. Not... It's so darker, not like a brown blue. I mean, again, I think so, if you, I think you're supposed to use the light ones with that. I think you? I, I think you? well. Here's the thing. I think that with the Jeffrey Star palettes, um, 
I feel like a lot of times he just throws a bunch of fucking colors in that don't make sense with each other. I feel like that what's that thirsty one you said? That was the that was the worst defender of and that. And I feel I feel like a lot of companies do that. It's like even the Anastasia palettes, it's a lot of a lot of them I'm like How do we do this? You're one? just throwing fucking makeup. You're just throwing colors in there just to throw colors in there, you know what I mean? Um, so we decided earlier, because again, I am intrigued in these the multi chrome magics. Mm -hmm. Ooh. I think we're gonna have to cake it on though. Yeah, oh yeah. That's actually, a, that's definitely a cake it on kind of. We got a cake on face with uh -huh. a cake on eyeshadow. All right. So this is definitely not a day look I'm showing you. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go in with mint tea. We're gonna do something I would never ever do. I don't even own a color like this. I know, that's why this is fun. I've never, actually never seen you in all of my years try anything like this. No. Nope. That's why I brought it out. I was like, we're gonna experiment. That's why this is gonna be fun. Jeremy's becoming 60s Jeremy. Mm-hmm. 60s Barbie Jeremy. I should have, like, a hair flip. Yeah. Oh, my God. Make my hair, like, a... That's what I'm saying. Could you imagine with, like, a little Gidget hair? Oh, my God. Like, a Barbara from Night of the Living Dead. Yeah, but I feel like it would go more... Yeah, I feel like it would go more, like, Farrah Fawcett on you automatically. Yeah. Which you could still make the 70s. So, actually, maybe it's got to be 70s. Oh, Barbie. yeah. They did, like, this kind of yeah. color in the 70s, didn't they? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. 60s, 70s, we still got it. When we got into the 80s, we got into that more electric blue. Which I like, too, but... I'm like, which brush am I going to steal of Jeremy's? There's so many. That's why I was Help like, yourself. I was going to use mine, but now it's more exciting to use Jeremy's brushes. Like, because it probably takes them five hours to clean them. Mm-hmm. And then the dirty brushes go in that one. Oh, are those dirty brushes? Yeah. I'm going to just put them all over my face. <laughs> pink eye. I don't think I could get pink eye from you unless you've been putting these I've... eye brushes in your butthole. Well, you don't know that I haven't. <laughs> Brother. You know what I, I almost like also bought but never did was that, that might be at uh, TJ Maxx all eaten up and shit is that um, Kat Von D Divine Palette. Okay, again, which I'm not colors a, I would never ever use. Well, I'm not a huge fan of her palettes, but I'll be honest with you, it's not a bad palette. The makeup's not that bad. Um, I didn't. I thought you had one. If you don't, no, because I, I didn't. I mean, I'll buy you one. I didn't pay for mine, so I'll buy you one. I'm into this. Well, I don't know what color it looks like out there, but to me, this looks blue, so I like it. Blue and purple. Oh, and black. yeah. Black. Yeah. Does it sure. have any red or in it? When you're kind of tipping your head up and looking down, I can see it a little bit. Really? Again, this is one of those that shifts so much in different lights. Well, that's what I'm wondering, too. Does it shift in different lights, or is it the person? That's what I've always wondered, too. Probably a little bit of both. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, I love it. I'm not scared of loud. All right. I'm going to go into flourishing here. Ooh, I'm having the time of my life. Look at this. Look at Jeremy's fun makeup on my face. Look at Justin's fun makeup on my oh, face. No. <laughs> I'm all like, oh, oh no. no. <laughs> I always tell everybody that. I try to explain how happy it makes you to call me Justin. So in case anyone's understanding, uh, my name is Justine. There's a fucking E on there. But for some reason, no one's ever understood the E anyway. So I get called Justin all the time and it makes me lose my mind. It makes me lose my mind, especially when they're standing in front of me, to be honest. I'm like, okay, there's an E, you motherfucking asshole. Well, nobody can ever spell my name. Did Jeremy? You uh, did you see that? His name's Jeremy. Yeah. It's not hard. Yeah, did you see that uh, Starbucks it, cup that it, they wrote fucking semen on? They did? You didn't see that? They wrote semen? Oh, I'll have to show you that. They wrote semen? Well, they wrote... The way that they wrote my name, like they misspelled Jeremy, but then like the almost cursive writing of how they misspelled it, yeah. it looks exactly like it says semen. Really? You'll see. You'll love it. Should I put an exciting eyebrow on since we're here or just a basic normal eyebrow? Whatever you want to do. Do we want a wild eyebrow? I, I think we do. Jeremy likes to give me really big eyebrows. I mean, it's been a long time since Jeremy's given me an eyebrow. That's but true. He definitely went thick before thick was in. <laughs> Jeremy was really ahead yeah. of the curve in that. In case anyone's wondering. Thicker eyebrows make you look younger. You think? Mm -hmm. I got my dad's eyebrows though, and they're wild. I got my mom's eyebrows. Or does she have an eyebrow? No. That's not too thick, right? You see. No. Jeremy's like, I'd go uh -huh. way thicker. I would cover your whole head and eyebrow. Pretty much, but I don't know how. I'm like so confused with this palette because I just don't like it. <laughs> I just don't like these colors. I, this looks fine. What if you put a gold with it? Like this looks fine. 
I'm an old person. No, you know what I you know what I want to use on my face? Uh, oh. that that glitter shit that you have. The, oh, yeah, the, yeah, you the, try the, that? The, 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 the those. Are yeah. you ready yet? Well, I'm not totally ready, but I, I do know that I want to do That's that. That's my secret I'm magic. I'm thinking maybe if I do that blue Monday shade for like more like blue blue and then throw that over top of it. I brought all kinds of lemon head. Yeah, which I've never I know used has gotten a very bad rap on the interwebs. Dark ain't dark Ansel. I, yeah, is that's... that supposed to say Angel? Probably. Because it's with a C. Ansel. Ansel. The fuck is an Ansel? Right, we're gonna throw some more blue on the lid. I'm gonna use Blue Monday. Oh, good old studio fix. I yep. keep wanting, that's one of those things that it's like when I don't have a studio fix, I feel like I want to go buy one just to have one. Well, I feel like you should. I feel like, honestly, I will give Max so much credit for so many things, but I feel like it is the greatest powder foundation ever made. I, I mean, again, there might be other things, yeah. but they might come and go. Like, honestly, it's an old staple favorite. Okay. That is chalky as fuck. What? Blue Monday. Like these matte colors are like really chalky. I don't. I, I think really I don't feel it. like they're as chalky as you do. Having said that, uh, I am not the blending queen like you are. I mean, I'm just gonna throw glitter over top of this anyway. I just wanted to have a base for it, so it doesn't really bother me that much. But did it again. Um, you are the glitter queen. It's true. Queen of glitter. I'm gonna put on some big ass lashes today. Now, see, that didn't go. That didn't go on as bad on this eye as it did on this eye. It also didn't have as much fallout on this eye as it did on this eye. I don't understand what's happening right now. Maybe you just needed to work it in because, like I said, I don't know if I use that color as much. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm not sure which lashes these things. I think they're like Bruja lashes. Look, you match my nails. Oh, it's true. Yeah. I mean, I kind of match my nails too. Justine loves blues and greens. Actually, I don't like greens that much in makeup. I like it in life. But I did get to use this green today. What kind did you say that was? Uh, that was Gimme Glow. Oh, it's amazing. See, I should give myself glitter eyebrows. The thing that's cool about Lime Crime is that- No, that's not Lime Crime. Oh that's Lemonhead. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Our old people brains are falling apart. Um, the thing that's cool about it is it's got a lot more control as far as being a makeup artist. Um, than you get with a lot of other glitter. Like you work pretty damn well with your glitter anyway, but it's not the easiest thing to control for a normal person. How long does it take before these dry out? So it doesn't really dry out that quick, but again, if you don't probably seal your thing all the way, um, you know, maybe you leave it open too long. I can't promise that it wouldn't happen. As much as I love glimmer and shimmer and glitter, I can't stand having glitter places it doesn't need to be. That's why I like this stuff, because like I said, it's a lot easier to control. It's easier to get off. It's got a lot of pluses. I will say that this stuff, even though it feels so goopy, it doesn't seem to be disrupting the eyeshadow underneath it. No. Like, there's not even any eyeshadow on my brush. No. That's what I mean. It's good. Again, with Kat Von D, I feel like I always get gifted it, or it's always on sale. That's how I end up getting Kat Von D stuff. Uh, I don't buy it usually again unless it's like a dollar, three dollars, five dollars. But this is a black lip liner. It's not the worst for a black lip liner. I will never forget the time that Kat Von D walked past me and I thought it was you oh. when we were at that little club in Kent. I know. I was like you and everyone else. <laughs> that was when she was on her inked tattoo tour, right? Uh, yeah. And everybody kept being like, "You guys look the same." Yeah. I don't know, was there a band playing? Wasn't there a band playing? That's why no, we were they there? were just there. Why did we go? Because it was a bar and we wanted to have some drinks. No, I swear there was something actually happening. I don't know. I don't know. And that the bar purpose? was one of those places where like, there were just random things that would happen there. Like, um, like the one night I had a client that came in and they what were like- What bar was that? I Do you even know? I forget what it was called. It wasn't that one you always hang out. No, no, no. No, no, we didn't ever hang out there. That's That was a thing. Like, like things didn't go on there. Um, and, like, one night, one of my clients came in, and they were like, are you going to go see Brett Michaels tonight? And I was like, where is he playing? And they were like, at whatever the fuck that place was. And I'm like, he's playing right around the fucking corner? We had no idea. So we, like, you know, got off of work and went and saw Brett Michaels, and I walked home. <laughs> was that before or after he started weaving his hair? Uh, well, he'd been weaving his hair for a long time. That's what I'm saying. Was he still doing it at that point? Um, oh, yeah. It was a long time was, ago, though. It was around that same time. That was a long time ago. There was a night that the Flavor of Love girls were there, and they were doing some sort of promotional tour, which I didn't go to. But um, What? 
I again, it was one of those things that I didn't know about because uh, like nobody went there for anything. That wasn't like a club that anybody went to. Yeah, it was weird. It was a weird bar. And club. they didn't like advertise for things. You know what I mean? It's like, it was set up weird too. Well, and it's like that. That place was just in a weird spot, so it was like they had a marquee and things would be on the marquee, but like unless you like went down that side street to see what was going on, you wouldn't know that things were happening in there. Mm-mm. I'm gonna do Alaskan ice, I think, because I think that'll go with everything that I already have on my face. I'm just digging now. Yeah, what are you looking for? Um, I was thinking about trying to maybe put an eyeliner on. Give it something kind of a pop. Like this one? Or is that? Yeah, that's a good one. I'm going to start applying stars to my face. Yes. <laughs> yes. Now I have to use every single yeah, one. The I base have. of these is definitely really like... It shrinks up a lot. Like, my lids look really haggard and really old with this stuff on them. What? Like, more than usual. Oh, you think? Yeah, oh, yeah. Really? Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Real haggard. That's fine. Really? This isn't about looking young and pretty. This is about looking like a fucking clown. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way we like it. <laughs> That's the way I like it. I feel like a 90-year-old woman trying to figure out how to use tiny stars. I really like sticking things to my face. Remember that time we did uh, the Gangaroo makeup? Oh yeah. If you go to my Facebook, there's an album they're in. You could actually lift them off of. I can't get it on my Facebook. So. Oh yeah, I don't even know how to get on my Facebook. I don't remember my password or anything. We are the only two people in the world not on Facebook. No, there's a lot of people that don't use Facebook. But then it's... are they young? Because like, apparently the old people found it, and now yeah, the they... old people found it. My mom is on there now. That's I what guess. I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> old people found it, and it's like the love of their life. <laughs> With Facebook, it just made me realize that I actually don't like most of the people that I like. You know what I mean? It's like. That's fair. I don't like most of out, my friends, you actually. You find out people in a different way. Yeah. Like, where if I can look at you in a picture, like, it, I like that. Well, and, you know, the thing about Instagram is you can still hate people on Instagram because there are still people that still can't figure out how to, like, control themselves. Well, if you look at the comment section of fucking everything, like... Oh, yeah. Facebook, yeah. Well, YouTube is probably different, too. YouTube, I think you get a lot of trolls, too. Like, have you had shitty trolls? You know what? Luckily, like, I just, I don't have enough followers on any platform to get a lot of, like, trolls. Um, on Instagram, I made it so in order to even, um, like, post a comment on any of my things, you have to be following me. Oh, that's fair. So, um, so that keeps that to a minimum because that's, like, more effort that somebody would have to go through than your to average a shitty troll, comment. Yeah, your average troll wants to. Um, and then on... On YouTube, I have such a small following, and even of that following, my videos don't really get a lot of views. Yeah. So there's just, you know, people are usually pretty cool. Every video I might get like one thumbs down or whatever. That's pretty good. But that's still interaction. Well, how many um Instagram followers do you need, or not Instagram, YouTube followers do you need on YouTube before it matters? Like before you start getting paid or doing whatever. Oh my God, like a lot. I think in order for me to make any money, even though my videos are monetized, at the rate that I'm going now, it probably would be like 20 years before I ever saw like a dollar. Really? Yeah. Well, that's the thing. I actually don't know how that works. Um, but I, I'm also not very consistent about it either. You know what I mean? Well, that's the thing. Because, you know, everybody's always like, you know, I don't, I mean, I don't know if you know, I don't know if people do that here, but everybody's like, why don't you make a YouTube channel? Why don't you do one of them makeup YouTube things? Because it's, it's a really expensive hobby. Well, not only is it a really expensive and hobby. It's very time consuming. It's time consuming. I like to do things like this with you. Um, I think if I had you with me, I would probably make a channel of just us yeah. because it's different. Like, I don't know how to explain that. Doing it with you is like fun and and just fun to me. It's yeah. not weird. But doing it all on my own, I give you so much credit. I think I would hate it. Well, because then you know. I'd be you... like, I'm such a freak. Well, I feel like it's the same thing with like doing pictures. Like, you know, I mean, pictures are, to me are easier because. It's, again, there's not that awkward, like, whatever. Speaking. It, it, yeah, it's probably still weird, though. You know what I mean? Like, you still look at things, and you're like, God, I'm fucking horrendous looking. Like, you know what I mean? Or you, like, shoot something, and you're like, I hate all of this. I don't want to look at my face. I have actually, to be honest with you, um, in the last year or two, I've started wearing larger lashes. They're not these, but, like, longer. Uh, 
because I guess I aesthetically like that you see them more. I used to wear a lot more subtle ones. Yeah. Um, and now I guess if I'm going to put an eyelash on, I want to have a lash. So I changed from what I use, but I always use wispies. I've always used wispies, um, but now I've changed which kind of wispy I use. And see, my eyes are so deep set that it's like hard because I'll put a lash on and it completely covers up all the eyeshadow that well, I did. Well, okay, that's why I usually don't use big ones. So this yeah. was a special thing because I've got a big makeup on and everything, but uh, I usually don't wear... Let's take over my mole. It'll be fun. I could burn your mole off. Oh, no. Oh, no. I feel like I'm getting more moles the older I get, too, and I don't know if that means I have cancer. Because I have that one by my mouth, and I feel like I'm getting more by my mouth. It's weird, but they're just not as dark. Um, it's you... herpes. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm pretty sure when you have a herpy, you know you have a herpy. I don't think there's any confusion. You're a giant, pusculating, fucking mouth sore. I'm so close. I need one more coat of mascara. Bottom mascara. Lips. Pull this hair down. I don't know how anybody does makeup with their hair down. Occasionally I'll do it. And I'm I like, do it. Uh, I do it when I do regular makeup. It doesn't bother me. But uh, I think it's because I'm so sweaty all the time. Well, the thing, if I'm doing like with this kind of makeup, I do pull it back because I just want to see my face. You know what I mean? I mean, I could do a fucking full face in 20 minutes if I wanted to. I could not. I could. I can't do anything in 20 minutes. I can't take a shit in 20 minutes. I need like 45 <laughs> minutes in there. Jeremy. A shower, that's like an hour. <laughs> Jeremy needs more time. I could actually probably put on a pretty good drag face in 20 minutes, to be honest. We should have made that a challenge today. <laughs> <laughs> when you come to LA. 20 minute training. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm gonna win that challenge, but it'll be fun anyway. I'll have on like a little bit of concealer. <laughs> that's all he got through. You'll look like divine. Yeah. Oh, I want to try that um, that Jeffree Star lip gloss. Okay. Um, Although I'll probably top it with something else anyway. Try it. See? Get your review. I love black lipstick. I really do. I didn't when I was little. Actually, I, oh, I actually, did. Actually, in, I my loved it. Yeah, in my Manson days, I didn't like it. No? Uh, I liked burgundy. Yeah, I wore the fuck out of it. It was like that you would get it at a Halloween time when the Wet n' Wild yeah. Fantasy Maker stuff would come out. Oh, I know. But see, I never got the black because way back in the 90s, kids. Goth kids were actually more irritating. So, I never liked it. Jeremy was never a goth kid, so he didn't have to worry about that. I, on the other hand, was a goth kid. So I didn't do black. While I was a spooky kid, I was a spooky goth kid. This texture reminds me of... I'll tell you in a second. This actually kind of feels like the texture of this lip balm that I like. Because it's almost like... It's not sticky. It's got enough stick that you know that it's going to stay on, but yeah. it almost feels balmy. Yeah, that's why I like it. I like that while you're doing it, I'm just accumulating more things. No one's surprised. But this is kind of blue, too. I can have, like, blue lips. This is JD Glow. Is that a lip gloss? Arubic Jewels, yeah. That's so pretty. We're glittery. We are sufficiently clowned. <laughs> we are blue clowns. Mm -hmm. I think we should see if they'll kick us out of the wig store for filming. This store. is not the end of this adventure. There's more going in this face. Mm -hmm. We actually just did this clown makeup to go to the wig stores. Sure. So what do you think? You excited? I'm going to the wig store. I'm very excited. That's part of the beauty of coming to the side of the country is you have the finest wig stores. So we're gonna get down and get nasty and see what kind of weird shit we can find. It's gonna be fun. You're gonna come with us. This is literally like the time of my life. Look at that. This doesn't help my 
going natural, probably. Pretty colors. Yeah, that's again, ginger, that's like kind of gingery. Yeah, like that's that kind. Of kind but I kind of like how the other one was like a little bit more pukey than that. See, I, I think I like because it's weirder. I think I like the less pukey. Yeah, but I think that your I think, if I'm good, I think your aesthetic is a little bit more pukey than less pukey. That was the best. Your aesthetic is pukey. She fell on the floor. Let's help her. She's okay now. There you go. I wanna be a girl with the most cake. But look at this face. It's got the most cake. It does. <laughs> for a bag of magic. That is a bag of magic. That is a bag of magic. Doesn't it look like all this should have cost $20 though? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so this is some awesome lighting for our outro. Very, very professional here. Mm. Um, we are at Justine's mom's house. This is the end of our time together. Boo! Um, but thank you so much for being here and being in this video. And thank you to all of you for being here and watching this yeah. video. Don't forget to follow Justine on all of her social media stuff. I'll it's link the gorgeous her below. with that extra E. Mm -hmm. I will link all of that stuff below for you guys to follow her. Follow me on my Instagram and I will see See you guys on the next one. Mwah, mwah, mwah.